What's up guys, Con Auto here. So today we're gonna to do a alternate, it's 2015 Honda Accord. So basically the symptoms were car was not starting, steering was not working, all electrical uh, loads were not functioning at all. All right, so let's jump in. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to disconnect the negative battery terminal. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the wire from the AC compressor, uh, take this bracket off the alternator, and then as well as this wire connector here, the main charge wire off the alternator and the other 10 right here on the alternator all right so now we're going to take out the coolant reservoir and we're going to remove the belt the belt is a 17 millimeter so for the belt you're going to want to pull it towards yourself now we're going to take the tension off you need an 8 millimeter hex make sure the 8 millimeter is all the way inside the hole before you start pulling it and then as well as these 12 millimeter for the tension on the bottom so you can see the head of the bolt peeking out this is the 8 millimeter hex socket that I used. Please make sure it's all the way in before you start to loosen it. So now let's take the alternator off, the 14 millimeter on top, and then the other 14 millimeter underneath the alternator here. Once you take those two 14s off, then you can pry it back with a screwdriver and just catch it when it falls off. Here's the new alternator on the left and the old one on the right. You need to transfer the heat shield to the new one. Now, if you're watching this video and you're not replacing the alternator and you're just removing it, you will need to hammer out this bracket right here. Um, I use a ball peen hammer and just hit it lightly right there and it will push it out. So here I installed the new alternator with the two 14 millimeter bolts tightened. This is a diagram for the routing of the dry belt. Sorry about the kindergarten of typewriting. If you're having trouble putting the belt onto the crank pulley, you can always do it from underneath the car. I found it easier that way, as you can see in this. So you put it underneath the crank pulley and above the water pump, and you can do everything else from the top of the car. This should make it a lot easier. Now you're gonna reinstall that wire harness that you had on here. And then um, you can, I would just reuse the old bracket instead of taking off that clip and breaking it. And then reconnect your negative battery cable. After that, start the car, check the charging voltage, make sure it's at least 14 volts, and all your electrical accessories work fine. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Con Auto out.